All right, guys, this will be a pretty quick video. I just, I had to share this one with you because it's so funky. Uh, so again, big thanks to my buddy Joe for sending over some wild watches. This is called the Swatch Big Bold Jellyfish. The model number is a SO27E100. And it is big and bold, and it is kind of jellyfishish, right? It's uh, semi-transparent. So 47 millimeter on the top side here. It does kind of taper down, but it's 47 wide up top, 49 lug to lug, 11 and a half thick, and it only weighs in at 41 grams. Now I'll put a link in the website to the or in the description to the website for Swatch for this watch. It is $110 brand new right from the uh, brand. So on the used market, you can probably find these pretty cheap if people ever even sell them because they're already kind of a cheaper watch anyway. And I think people buy these typically as like a fashion watch or something like that. I did wear it for a little bit. It's actually very comfortable and it's it's uh, comfortable um, to wear, but uh, not to listen to. I don't know if you're hearing this. Hopefully you're picking that up. So even on the link that I'll provide, even on the website for these guys, they towards the end, after they give you a brief description of the watch and talk about the blue and the red and the yellow and then the jellyfish look, it straight up says at the end of the paragraph, speak your mind aloud without making a single sound except for the ticking, that one we love. So they recognize right on their website that the ticking is like, um, well, loud. It's very loud. <laughs> But nonetheless, if you can get past that, or if you're in a noisy environment where you won't hear it anyway, the watch is actually pretty fun. It's pretty cool because it's like super, I mean, clear from the top side and then trans, you know, slightly transparent for the band and then the case back and even through the sides. But on the top side, you can see everything. You can see the, the battery. You can see the main gear train. You can see the uh, crown assembly and stem assembly when you operate it. There is a, a ghost date position, but... When you pull it all the way out, it doesn't hack the seconds, but you can see right here, you can watch the gear train move. And then put it back to where you want it, which actually kind of does like hack the movement, but, and then you lock her back down. So, but you can see everything down there. You can see where the oscillator and everything would be the for all the quartz components. So pretty fun, pretty fun for sure. And, and affordable, you know, whether you're just, Buying one for 110 bucks directly, or if you're, you know, buying one used or something. The strap material is like kind of silicone-ish, but it's not super sticky. It's very easy to operate, very easy to put on and off. There it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It's crazy comfortable. It's bold. I'm sure people would, you know, say something about your watch uh, if you wore one of these around. And I like that the crown's offset. So would I wear it? No, probably not. Not because of the look or anything like that. I mean, maybe partially, but uh, mostly because of that ticking. Holy cow, that is loud. I've had Timex watches tick loud, and this would drown out a Timex. The ticking is very loud. So thanks for watching, guys, and big thanks to Joe for sharing this. I'll see you guys in the next vid.